All right, crazy Medusa fam, are you guys struggling to write your college essays? Like even in January, really? Um, if the answer is yes, then this video is perfect for you. In this video, we're going to look at how the AI tool called ChatGPT can take your writing to the next level. For those of you that may not be familiar with what ChatGPT is, basically people who have been living under a rock for the last two months. Why do you think it's not going to be a problem? Is the artificial intelligence bot ChatGPT coming for your job? It took Netflix more than three years to reach 1 million users, but it took ChatGPT just five days. It's basically a language model that was developed by this company called OpenAI. And in simple words, it can do whatever you tell it to do. So basically, a very good example of this, and this is something I see students struggle with a lot, whether you're an undergrad student or a master's student or even a PhD student, is finding research opportunities. And that starts with reaching out to a professor and how do you even write those emails? How do you reach out to a professor? If I were to go on Google and try to find like an email template, I would type something along the lines of how to write an email to a professor to find a research opportunity. Google would spit out tons of articles, blogs, and you know, just going through them, deciding what information is useful, what I can use, would take me hours to go through that information. On the other hand, with ChatGPT, if I tell it, write me an email template to reach out to a professor for a research opportunity, it gives me an exact template with a subject line, with the email body, and pieces of information that I can add to personalize that template on how I can reach out to a professor. This makes that whole process of Finding that template so much more smoother, 100 times making my life easier. And what I can actually focus on are the important bits on personalizing that email and focusing on what I want to include in terms of my personal information. So coming back to the main topic on how can you actually use ChatGPT to write your college essays, one way to use it is as a brainstorming tool. Now, we all know that there's not just one essay when it comes to college applications, that is your personal essay. Keeping that aside, there are tons and tons of supplemental essays. And one example of a supplemental essay is the diversity essay, where the college asks you about how you wish to contribute to the diversity of that specific college. Now, the point is using ChatGPT as a tool to give you ideas that you can browse from and then take inspiration and write your essay is the right way to go about it. So for example, if I wanted to know some of the diversity clubs at Columbia University, I would just ask ChatGPT to tell me those clubs and from that list I could decide which ones I'm interested in and then take those clubs and expand on them in my essay. That removes the whole point and the time that it consumes for me to actually browse through Columbia's website, look for the clubs, find them and then decide what's interesting to me. Another take on this is the Why Us essay where colleges ask you why you want to specifically study in our university. If I ask ChatGPT, what are some of the specific courses offered by a certain university in biomedical engineering for undergrads, it would give me the list of the courses. And from there, I can choose which are the areas I'm interested in and then expand on that. That is taking inspiration and basically using ChatGPT as like a study buddy um, so that you know you're not sifting through all of that Google, you know, web pages and other uh, other university websites to find what you're looking for. Another type of supplemental question that a lot of colleges ask are, why do you want to choose this specific major? Now, for me personally, if I was asked when I was in high school why I wanted to do biomedical engineering, I would have no idea about microfluidics or nanotechnology. Not because, you know, I was dumb, but basically I didn't have the resources at hand to know all of these things. And you can't really expect a high school student to know all of the career prospects of a particular major because they haven't stepped into it yet. So you can use ChatGPT and ask it, what are the career prospects of a biomedical engineer? Use that list to expand on some of the things that you want to do. Or maybe there are some new career aspects that you haven't heard of that ChatGPT spits out. So you can research on them and say that, you know, maybe this, this is something you would want to learn more about. So it's a great tool to use to maybe just broaden your knowledge, use it for points that you can use in your essay to then expand, not just, you know, 
use it as a copy and paste tool because I'll get to that in a minute as to why that's very, very dangerous. Now, with all of these ideas, you're probably, you know, coming to the same point that I am, that you can ask ChatGPT to write full length essays. Why should you just take inspiration and use it as a study buddy when this study buddy of yours can just write 200, 300 or even 650 word essays for you? Basically doing your homework, your assignments and everything else that you as a student are required to do. So let's say I wanted to write an essay about how the society is impacted by technology. I could just ask ChatGPT to write this essay for me. And yes, it will give you a response. It would write a very fantastic, really good looking essay at first glance. And, you know, as a student, maybe myself as a high school student, I would have thought like, you know, this is perfect. It has great grammar. It's excellent structure and it's ready to submit for a class homework assignment or even a college application. But there is a regenerate option in ChatGPT. And when I clicked that a couple of times, I noticed that the same essay that it was giving me for the same topic, every time it regenerates the response, it kind of is reformatting the same concepts and the same information and just giving it to me in a different structure and a different format. And it was very, very easy for me to realize that this is the same information. Now, this is just me doing it a couple times. Imagine if thousands of students, specifically like you guys that are watching this video, start generating essays from ChatGPT. It's very, very easy for colleges to realize that these essays have been generated by an AI tool and not a student. And there are two main reasons for that. The first reason is that the ChatGPT software itself kind of stopped updating its information in 2021. What this means is any information that it has is only up till 2021. So for the last two years, it's been dormant. It doesn't know what happened. It's not most recent. Now, this may be fixed by, the, uh, by a software update that OpenAI does release in the near future. So, you know, this problem can be resolved. Agreed. But the second thing is the information that ChatGPT is outputting is ultimately from the Internet. It has a fixed amount of resources that it's using, basically the internet. So one, it can be flagged for plagiarism. And two, there is nothing new that it can eventually give to you because it only has that limited amount of information that is in its software. So colleges can very easily blacklist you if you were to just submit an essay as is right from ChatGPT to your college applications or in assignments. And with the way that everyone is moving with this technology so far, it, it's not a big deal. There are so many chat GPT detectors to see if you've used this AI tool to write something and basically catch plagiarism. So using chat GPT blatantly to write your essays is a huge blunder and taking inspiration from it is a whole other thing that you can do as a student. All right, so that's all that I had for you guys in this video. Now I have um, kind of like an, a homework assignment for you guys. I'm going to leave a link to ChatGPT in the description below. So go ahead, you know, open the website. You will need to log in and sign up. Do that. Ask a stupid question and see what you get as a response. Come back to this video and drop that question and what ChatGPT told you in the comments below. So let's, you know, let's see what everyone gets. But if you're watching till this point, uh, thumbs up the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. So you guys are still here, right? Now, if it wasn't obvious already, this entire video was scripted by our very own ChatGPT.